Today, we're going to be talking about an important open source project that just got seemingly dropped. Without much information yet, there's been an interesting development in this great project called Zluda. So what is Zluda? Well, it's a drop-in replacement for CUDA on Intel GPUs. As it says here, Zluda allows to run unmodified CUDA applications using Intel GPUs with near native performance. More information below, and it's currently integrated with Intel UHD GPUs. We're going to go back and talk about performance benefits here from Zluda that we're getting and why it's been shut down, at least for now. But first off, let's talk about what CUDA is. CUDA here, in computing, CUDA is known for compute unified device architecture and is a proprietary parallel computing platform and application programming interface. So it's both hardware and software based and allows certain GPUs to have accelerated general purpose processing and an approach called general purpose computing on GUs. CUDA is important because it's a parallel computing platform that was originally developed by NVIDIA and allows GPUs to be used for task B beyond graphics processing. So think about uh, things like computations in parallel, which is fantastic for large language models or artificial intelligence, because you, you can process large sums of data and data sets by writing some simple CUDA application, which helps you harness GPU power for that type of parallel computation. So from a NVIDIA about CUDA, it's more than a programming model, they say. The compute platform extends to thousands of general purpose compute processors featured in our GPUs computer architecture parallel computing extensions to many popular languages, popular drop-in accelerated libraries to turn key applications and cloud-based compute applications. So they invite us to explore the Kudo ecosystem, and it shows here which type of acceleration it can perform in what type of domains, pretty much in every domain that you can think of. That's why it's so powerful. This ecosystem has made it a crucial staple in being able to actually use your GPU to enable faster and more efficient computations. We'll think about things like games, machine learning, again, scientific simulations, real-time processing data. These are all essential to modern software development. This ecosystem has been built out quite extensively and NVIDIA definitely supports developers in learning this essential technology. And of course, it's making them tons of money. A simple block diagram showing how CUDA kind of works here. If we look right here, we see a multi-threaded CUDA program, which has individual memory blocks. Then those memory blocks get shared with GPUs. This says a GPU with two SMs and then a GPU with four SMs, presumably two GPUs here. And how the order of those blocks of memory will get executed in parallel, going from top to bottom. So it says block 0, 2, 4, 6, and and then block one, three, five, seven, you can see that it's been arranged in an array that allows the GPU to go through blocks simultaneously in parallel. So we can imagine that the one with four SMs is gonna process things faster as it can approach through these blocks of memory a little quicker or probably around twice as fast as the one with two SMs. Why is that? Because it doesn't have a bottleneck to go through the individual blocks. Instead, it can go through two individual blocks across four of the SMs versus going through four blocks each with two SMs. Either way, if you wanna learn more about about CUDA and advanced CUDA programming, Stanford actually offers a free lecture and class presentation free online. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. You'll definitely want to check this out. This is very in-depth if you want to learn more about CUDA, but I really want to get back to Zluda because now that we understand what CUDA is, we can talk about what actually happened here. But before we do, make sure to smash that like button. Think about subscribing below for more content and videos like this. You wouldn't want to miss another one as this one is a pretty big deal. Important. We're going to talk about what happened here, including what kind of performance benefits we were seeing with this project. And again, why was it shut down at least for now? So let's first talk about what happened. The shutdown of Zluda seems to be due to concerns raised by AMD. Initially, the developer received approval through AMD to work on this project through an email, but all of a sudden, it seems like AMD's legal department reached out and alluded to the previous approval was not legally binding, leading the main developer here to take down the code. So as it says here, the code that was previously here has been taken down by AMD's request. The code was released with AMD's approval through email. AMD's legal department now says it's not legally binding, hence the rollback. But before anyone asks, I have received no legal threats or any communication from NVIDIA. So what happens now? Because Zluda was a remarkable project that allowed unmodified CUDA targeted binaries to run on different GPUs. It accomplished this by using the Rockm compute stack and overall is a very impressive project here. We can see a majority of this project was written in Rust, another win for you Rust developers out there. The project is back to being open source before AMD seemed to give 
of that email confirmation, but the future is uncertain here, and here's why it was pretty amazing. We can see performance levels getting boosted by Zluda as opposed to using OpenCL in many facets, including Sobel, stereo matching, histogram equalization, Gaussian blur, depth of field, and the others were still getting optimized. This performance was based on OpenCL performance, 110% means that the Zluda implemented CUDA is 10% faster on Intel UHD 630s. There's an explanation of these results. I'll post, of course, this open source project in the comments section below as you can follow along with what's going on yourself. But the developer expressed intentions to continue working on this project, basically starting from the pre-AMD code base. However, they said that the plan here is to rebuild Zluda. And the what now here, at this point, one more hostile corporation does not make much of a difference. I plan to rebuild Zluda starting from the pre-AMD code base, like I mentioned. Funding for the project is coming along and I hope to be able to share the details in the coming weeks. So we'll follow this along, of course, as things are developing. Definitely wanna make everyone aware of this. Quite fascinating. What what all developers, especially in open source, have to go through in order to get their projects through and the challenges and roadblocks that they face. It will have a different scope and certain features will not come back. I wanted it to be a surprise, but one of the features was support for NVIDIA Gameworks. I got it working in Batman Arkham Knight, but I never finished it and now the code will never see the light of day. And we can see the difference here between Zluda turned off and the processing that happens with the graphics versus Zluda turned on quite a difference as you can obviously tell the smog or fog that's going on in the background here appears in both top here and across the body of the player. Anyways, a regression on this project. It is sad to see that we're going to lose at least some of the progress and improvements here from the Zluda project. Is it continuing? Yes, it is, but clearly under a handicap as businesses have seemingly forced it into an unknown future. What are your thoughts about businesses seemingly dictating what open source can or cannot do? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.